I just read today, I think somewhere around 12% of the market is already electric like, on a month-on-month basis. And and that's that's huge. I, like it, if, if one and a half year back, someone would have told us that, we, we would be saying, yeah, I mean, yeah, like even, even as an entrepreneur, even probably we are optimistic, but still maybe that's not something which we would have uh, thought of. So hello and welcome to Declassified, Hether's community podcast where we talk about the things happening behind the scenes and uh, the journey and the stories along the way. Today we have Swapnil CTO and co-founder and Arvind Prasad who is the head of programs at Aether. Any Anything, any introductions <laughs> beyond this? You've donned a lot of hats at Aether. <laughs> no, um, well, I, hand, uh, I, I sort of look at production at this point of time. That's all I can say. Okay. So though CTO I call it, CTO. though I am a CTO, but I, 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 I do look at uh, uh, a lot of production issues uh, and production related challenges. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, I've also had a chance to, to be uh, at different parts of Aether um, and uh, have gotten a chance to work on a lot of, um, you know, production, uh, production ramp up, manufacturing, a lot on the design development side of things. Uh, so just uh, looking forward to having this conversation with Swapnil and with you about um, about today's topic. So um, the reason we are having this uh, conversation is because over the last few months, apart, like the moment the 4FTX was introduced, we went through a pandemic, all of that. But at least in the last few months, we've seen the demand ramp up really rapidly, right? But at the same time, there have also been semiconductor shortages, um, uh, general su- shortage of supply of parts, and uh, uh, and like j- delays in delivery. Like people have had to, people are now waiting, I think, up to 60 days, 90 days for a vehicle to be delivered, right? Um, so while this is all happening, we wanted to bring out the background story of uh, what's actually happening, right? Because this is not a problem that's unique to Aether. Uh, other companies are also facing this maybe at different levels but um i think we are we are also having more open to having a conversation about this so how did how did this journey all get started with the 450x like at least with the 450 we were ma- making it in the whitefield factory with the 450x we transitioned to the hosur facility where we said we would have an annual manufacturing capacity of about 1 lakh right but i don't think uh, um, like while we built for it i don't think we actually hit that capacity so what is what's the story over there Right. So, uh, a lot of, actually, uh, funnily, a lot of things have changed. It, it's just one and a half year. But, uh, uh, especially in the EV area, a lot of things uh, have changed. I remember when we first, uh, two or three months when we were, we were doing uh, production, uh, we used to have, uh, we, were, we were having difficulty in storage of vehicles because we are, we are producing at a, at a certain pace. But the, 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 in the early days, the sales was actually not happening uh, at, at, a, at a similar pace and then three four months down the line suddenly uh, sort of uh, sales picked up uh, and uh, people started becoming more aware people started especially when we started going into different cities a lot of interest came from those cities and then suddenly overnight subsidies increased and then uh, say, uh, state subsidies came in and and suddenly the, the entire uh, uh, entire ecosystem was looking very very different than it was uh, like one and a half year back so um, and, and a lot of things change in that manner as well I, I remember when we when we actually put up our, our hostel factory especially f- first of all when you put, put up a factory you don't put up for like a uh, one year demand right like factory is a is a big investment so uh, and and you you have to think about it uh, from a long term perspective and and funnily uh, the way the market was about uh, when we uh, we just started 450x production or we we're getting into 450x production especially when we had actually taken up the the, the hosur uh, uh, plant the scenarios didn't look like what it is looking like today like uh, i just i just read today i think somewhere around 12 percent of the market is already electric like on a month on month basis and and that's that's huge i like it if, if one and a half year back someone would have told us that we would, we would be saying yeah i mean yeah, like even even as an entrepreneur even probably we are optimistic but still maybe that's not something which we would have uh, thought of we are not thinking of at that point of time. So one lakh was, was like a long long term plan, right? Like uh, creating a uh, one lakh uh, capacity, and and that's how we put up the the capacity. 
um then obviously things changed and and sudden demand ramp up happened now we are in a situation that uh, like we, we built parts in the morning and by afternoon they are out of the out of the factory and right like, and then by the next uh, couple of days they are already with, with the customer right like the inventory is is are zero like in the, in the entire pipeline is is, is completely uh, dry um this has also led to some sort of a shock in our entire planning as well because uh, you know, firstly as i said that the 1 lakh capacity wasn't meant for like making 1 lakh capacity 1 lakh production uh, as of uh, as of like right away yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. As, 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 like january 2022 we were not expecting to actually build 1 uh, lakh vehicles and and funnily because of the entire covid situation and all of that the, the lead time on components have have shot up uh, uh, dramatically hmm. especially on the on the semiconductors front uh, things have, have changed really like i think it's 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 no uh, news for anyone uh, today so while our our first few months were were, were quite good uh, the uh, like of of oftx we were able to meet the the demands um what we ended up doing meeting the initial demand is that we ended up drying the the pipeline the inventory for the the later months so that's why um, and that's why we are in a uh, we we sort of in a in the past couple of months we are at a place where where the demand is is huge um we are we are having 3 4 months of uh, of wait time uh, for people but uh, supplies are are sort of uh, uh, constrained um a couple of times we also again uh, hit uh, especially the semiconductor industry itself is running quite dry in terms of inventory so any small hiccup anywhere with any supplier and that directly impacts uh, uh, everyone so we had couple of cases where where one or the other semiconductor guys had had uh, problems and 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 the problem is that we were running so lean in our inventories that uh, like if I, tomorrow tomorrow i have to make production today i'm supposed to get parts and and some of those parts actually didn't come in time because the 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 supplier like even you you would be surprised that uh, someone as as big as the semiconductor guys also have production uh, hiccups they also have uh, uh, production which is not very um uh, what is it it's, it's not very predictable they also uh, they are also facing lot of lot of challenges firstly uh, to begin with we had not anticipated uh, uh, big volumes to come in and second the entire supply chain disruption because of covid and 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 us utilizing our inventories in the early months uh, has has led us to a place where the the inventories are sort of the, is running slightly dry in the in the in the last couple of months but uh, as soon as the scenario had changed we had we had already uh, sort of placed orders for much higher number of uh, parts and and ho- hopefully in the uh, uh, in the next 2 uh, to 3 months we are starting to uh, uh, reach uh, like start to cater to the the demand um, and 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 hopefully be wait where the wait times and all would would come down um, so uh, you said something about uh, pipeline running dry right like our parts coming in and in manufacturing operations everyone talks about just in time right yes. um and i think that was a philosophy it took us some time to uh, adopt in white field initially we were a little slower in production we were having inventory build up of parts uh, so i th- um, the immediate question would be hey why didn't you just buy in bulk right why weren't you just sitting on inventory for months um but that's also a very conscious call that we decided to do to be able to balance and build it the right way right follow the correct principles in building out Rather than sitting on huge piles of inventory, right. or it's I like think, stabilizing actually, production there, or supply chain. There, there, there are there are a lot of reasons why why it is not a good idea to just uh, uh, keep holding uh, or or like bulk ordering uh, components because uh, uh, like we are we are also continuously improving the the product right like we are we are we are not uh, uh, at a place where uh, we have uh, uh, we have developed something and 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 that's it we are we just want to keep selling it. so we want to be in a place we want to have that flexibility to be able to continuously improve parts so if you if you see on a on a on a month on month basis on the lower levels designs are actually changing on a on a, on a month on month basis we are we are improving uh, our cost structure we are improve we are we are reducing the field defects uh, we are making the products more manufacturable so there's a continuous improvement which is which is happening and and hence it is important not to just bulk uh, order parts because that takes away the flexibility to keep improving your uh design and that was a conscious call to not uh, uh not just bulk order uh, uh, order parts because that takes away the flexibility of uh, uh of uh, uh improving uh, things also as i said that uh, um though we had kept some buffer 
So all the buffer got utilized in the early months itself because the demand suddenly uh, shot up. So all the buffer sort of yeah. uh, got in, got in utilized. While the intent was not exactly just in time, but the intent was to allow continuous improvement mm. of the product mm. uh, as as we scale up. Mm. So when you talk about this uh, continuous improvement, right? I think um, to to a person who doesn't understand production and supply chains and all of that, it kind of goes against the whole manufacturing and stabilization of a plan for manufacturing right so how does how does uh, how does that work like if you were to improve um, say uh, as a random thing let's say you were to improve a seat right um, how does how long does it take for that to go into a final product and how do you navigate the supply chains around that uh, depending on the the extent of the change uh, it could take anywhere between uh, like 3 months to like one 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 year or 12 to 15 months sort uh, especially because you have to ensure that uh, that the design is robust right like it's 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 a prop, it's a part in the in the field people's lives depend on it and 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 it, there is a there's a huge uh, uh, brand element attached to it we don't want to be uh, we don't want to be creating uh, uh, vehicles which are not reliable so every small failure which firstly we have to do extensive testing and and you have to ensure that uh, every small failure which is which is coming in is fixed before the product gets delivered uh, uh, to the customer so um, and it, it it's important to maintain that sort of a uh, uh, sort of a culture in the organization otherwise uh, it's a it's a slippery slope if you if you build up a culture of not uh, of being okay with not good quality then it it just it's it become it become very difficult to snap out of that sort of a culture so uh, yeah it it could it could take about 12 to 15 months to sort of uh, uh, get a get a uh, product out and planning uh, like so, sort of if if again at 12 to 15 months you have to uh, ahead of time you have to plan the supply chain because the supply chain lead times are are accordingly so again when when a sudden in in such scenarios when a sudden uh, uh, blip happens like a sudden increase in demand or sudden supply uh, shortage those sort of which which is sort of very common in in in, in today's time uh, those sort of things again also uh, hit the, the predictability of the uh, of the manufacturing so yeah it, it's it, we're trying to sort of juggle too many balls at this point of time we're trying to reduce cost you're trying to improve the product you're you're trying to uh, reduce field field defects uh, and and you're trying to uh, produce vehicles so you're trying to juggle a lot of lot of balls and and once in a while this sort of scenario comes in that uh, something uh, something uh, you did not anticipate happened, uh, and 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 that leads to sort of a blip uh, in the in the production. So when you when you say the outlook for the next two three months looks really good, right? When did we realize that um, the demand was sort of coming back up to uh, maybe original levels or even better? So so when did we start taking steps towards this, and when are we actually going to see some outcome of that? I think. Uh, I think we've been taking steps uh, regularly, almost. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, as soon as we launched the 450X, we started seeing trends. No, for me. Actually, uh, a big change happened after the uh, uh, the subsidy, hmm. right? Like the subsidy Correct. increase, State increase subsidy, subsidy. Um, uh, increase subsidy of of the uh, center, and then suddenly increased subsidy of the states. I mean, um, I think a couple of months after that is is when we saw things just. Uh, it, it it has just gone crazy. Uh, everyone was 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 looking for it. Uh, awareness also built up like a lot. It was not not just the subsidy, but because of the subsidy, the awareness in in customers uh, had 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 shot up uh, uh, immensely, and uh, and that and that was again a point where we we realized that uh, this thing is 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 blowing like is is growing up much much faster than than what we had uh, uh, earlier anticipated. Um, yeah, and that's when we started taking steps uh, towards uh, higher and higher numbers. So, uh, so one of the questions that um, maybe everyone will be having is, okay, while while the supply chain, especially on the component shortages, are there, what is Aether doing to make sure that the next ramp up phase, assuming magically overnight a wand comes over and everyone gets shortages, what is it that we've been doing yes. uh, to be able to ramp up for the volumes, right? Um, Postal plant movement is very exciting for all of us for the volumes that it can produce. Um, we've and then, but now, what is it that the team has been doing to ensure that one once one blocker goes away, how the entire 
system or the entire company and supply chain value chain everyone can get geared up for that like can't you just uh, place orders with three suppliers instead of one i mean that's what uh, uh, essentially we ended up doing so uh, uh, the the tricky thing about uh, um, about semiconductor industry is that it's not easy to get a, uh, a completely alternate, alternate, alternate sort of a component right like yes there are some something which you can get alternate on like like passive components like resistors capacitors you can get alternates a lot easily but uh, but the active component like your microcontrollers and uh, 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 ics it's it's sort of difficult to uh, find an alternate and and again with the with the the strict qualifying uh, requirements which we have um, it 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 is not a uh, easy thing to uh, yeah. do that yeah. so uh, but again as i said the essentially the last one year has been all about this getting more and more uh, alternate components mm. uh, yep. uh, qualified not just on the electronics front but even on the on the mechanical front yeah, as well actually getting into the 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 big uh, big company league right having multiple sources multiple uh, designs uh, hedging our risks on the supply chain on on various fronts uh, ensuring that some of the critical parts has as two to three suppliers um, and and they are coming from different different geographies the challenges of a uh, supply chain of a big company is is something which which are uh, which we are dealing with uh, now yeah and uh, and that, that that's that's i mean like it, it all this this whole arsenal is getting ready for the in, uh, to be deployed in next uh, two to three months and would you also say that um, honestly if it wasn't for the challenges situation that we face right with supply chain it's also given us it's also thrown ether a lot of uh, innovation to be able to come up with right we've been able to um, um, we've been able to strengthen a lot more of understanding processes being able to revisit the challenges has really pushed us to innovate on multiple fronts right wouldn't mm-hmm. you um, agree to that also um maybe it's not something that would have happened naturally if we didn't have supply chain shortages but it's given us a chance to revisit the entire value chain see how more effective we can be across yeah, each step uh, right yeah uh, no i think uh, uh, we would have continued uh, doing this yeah. uh, even even otherwise primarily because uh, uh, like innovation is something which we have to keep yeah, right, yeah, yeah. right so uh, that is something which you would have done uh, i think uh, supply chain shortages have have definitely uh, sort of uh, pushed us to do it much yeah, much yeah. quicker um but yeah i think i think funnily this has also helped us to like speed up our entire innovation cycle itself because yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it has made us rethink how to how to design products faster how do you how do you uh, bring in features improvements Correct. much much Correct. faster and i think that's that's a more like blessing in disguise uh, for yeah, yeah. Uh, so you talked about that uh, innovation part right like how building stuff that can be manufactured and ramped up really quickly also has some parts of innovation in is there is there an example that you can um, use to explain that more like recently i think we talked about um, how we we announced the grid 2.0 hardware right and we talked about how it shares some of the parts with the vehicles to make it easier to manufacture so so how can you use that example to talk more about this considering the complexity of supply chain the the entire idea <coughs> was of of grid 2 was that how do we how do we pick up parts from from vehicle and uh, and design the grid uh, uh, with with that uh, this this really helps in in ha- reducing the complexity of of supply chain because you are essentially making the same part more of it uh, and and that uh, that makes it a lot easier to actually uh, do 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 production and 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 thanks to the, the the engineering team it was it was it was very easily possible to actually just take those parts from there repurpose them and 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 build a, a, a completely different product out of it so and and that that has really helped us because we we have we don't have to worry about now two different supply chains we have to only worry about one supply chain and 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 it sort of feeds in into the two different products and it's quite quite an quite an innovation i think we pulled off uh, in the in the with grid 2.0 so when scooter production ramps up uh, grid production will also ramp up definitely yeah <laughs> that's why that's why the no, grid installations yes, are small answer is yes <laughs> okay when we talk about um, innovation and engineering right like i think uh for a lot of people it must be exciting to work at ether because we are yeah. we are we like at least the image that was there was we were always developing new stuff right but when you talk about the image all of was this was there huh? I'll I'll come to it <laughs> <laughs> so um that was the exciting thing for a lot of people initially right and i think when you're talking about manufacturing and optimizing for supply chains and production and all of that it sounds boring 
right mm. um but yet you talked about innovation from that angle so so what is what is it uh, how does it, how does that work actually yeah it's it's quite it's quite funny because i think uh, there was there was a time when we even internally we had this challenge that when we started speaking a lot about manufacturing and 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 production scale up a uh, lot of engineering folks uh, uh, started feeling that uh, we have stopped doing innovation and funnily some of them left as well thinking that we have stopped doing uh, innovation but uh, i think the number of projects we have pulled off in the in the last one year uh, beats all what we have done in the in the first uh, five years of of the organization because uh, um, you cannot do uh, like uh, you cannot do scale up without doing innovation and and the innovation happens as 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 you said at on multiple fronts uh, you might do a product design change because it helps in a su- certain supply chain innovation right like you you you're trying to uh, you are trying to evaluate a new completely new manufacturing process because it helps in your uh, uh, it, it helps in your scale up but at the same time that that needs a design change and the de- the design change brings in its own set of uh, uh, innovation uh, people people use the opportunity of a design change to add more innovation uh, into it so we have actually uh, uh, we have we have done a lot of innovation um, in the last uh, last one and a half year which has helped us ramp up the uh, the production reduce the cost uh, uh, we have been continuously working on on reducing the uh, the, the cost of the uh, of the vehicle to ensure a sustainable business and a, a great deal of innovation actually came out of it we have we have been working on uh, again new features on to do otas and all of that as well but yeah i think the the innovation is is happens on on multiple front it happens on the design side it happens on the supply chain side it happens on how how you it happens on logistics side it happens on the packaging side there is innovation waiting to happen everywhere like like funnily um when we actually went to like the the hosur plant in the early days we actually thought that we'll be able to produce like about uh, uh, 100 to 120 vehicles in a shift today we are doing 350 vehicles we are able to do about 300 to 350 vehicles uh, uh, in a shift again a lot of innovation went in that as well to just just squeeze out more and more productivity from the the same plant actually required a lot of engineering innovation as well how how we how we designed our our battery line how how we actually repurposed our all, all the robots to, to ensure that uh, they can actually uh, uh, meet our uh, our our higher uh, productivity requirements and it was quite quite a fun which which engineers had actually dealing with those challenges as well hmm. was that was that exciting did you have like elon musk moments where you slept in the factory uh, no i think we have, we have better engineers so i didn't have a team <laughs> in the factory <laughs> i was just about to say that uh, do you actually um while i think there's been a lot of like oh um sustenance is boring or scaling is or production is but i think the engineering talented ather swapnil has tremendously benefited from doing a lot of these uh, development and operation scaling effort right you also spoke about how this how it's helped us uh, do uh, product development faster like bringing into production faster um can you talk about what um how addressing a lot of these challenges that the teams have done um across the value chain right soon everyone was learning from more folks how has that helped ather now become a much better um like a uh, new product development company right how is it going to become make us make better products in the future also so so i i think uh, for everyone watching on video that that gap between swapnil yes. and arvind is for the new pers- new engineer yes. who's going to join <laughs> <laughs> so if you're looking yes, to join right, right here right here yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah i think uh, it, it was actually quite quite interesting that uh, you know, people had to do like we were just forced to do innovation faster right like, mm. like product design uh, faster right like uh, the like one fine day you realize hey this part is is not available and then overnight you have to come up with with something to yeah. uh, to be able to cater to production uh, requirement uh, that helped that helped us like really squeeze out that every single day which which could be uh, uh, like every time you do product development there yeah. is there is a there is a slack in any process right like there is there is a, nothing to say that uh, no process is, is ever yeah, optimal yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, the thing about uh, new product development like any other process is that the, the more you do it the the, the faster it it becomes you mm. you get better at it Correct. you 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 are more like you get seasoned at it and and Correct. you just keep doing Correct. and it just become faster and faster at it Correct. the amount of uh, uh, changes we have introduced into the system in the last uh, one and a half year the amount of uh, uh, small small pro- new product development which has which yeah, has yeah, happened yeah. incremental product development which has yeah. happened 
um, it is just made it made uh, 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 Arup, uh, it's a new product development as a as a very very well oiled uh, mm. uh, engine that really gives us a confidence that uh, we can like we, we are known we, we are no longer a, uh, a company which has developed one product right like for until like 2018 19 we yeah, are just yeah. company which who who was developing one product and and uh, it's a it's a different thing to develop one product and it's a different thing to continuously keep improving that product yeah. over and over and over keeping the quality consistent right yeah. like and, and that's that's a that's a key yeah. it, you're not just you're, you're, like when you're doing a new product development it's actually quite quite easy yeah. because you don't have any production pressure right like you can you can do anything anything you want yeah. and, and and you are not worried that something will go wrong in the field but to to try to do new product development on a running product is is uh, it's a is a cliched example that trying to change wheel on a on a running yeah. running train right yeah. and 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 that's uh, that's that's really 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 uh, interesting it's it's it requires a different mindset uh, you you have to plan your supply chains accordingly because anticipating a new product development yeah. you have to uh, 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 ensure that your the product is 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 thoroughly tested uh, before it goes in the field yeah. because you are no longer giving it to handful of customers the, the change which you are introducing is is going to few thousand customer within a month's time yeah, and, and yeah. you can't expect things to go bad so i think that has that has added a complete new element of how how to handle new product development uh, at ether and and that's been an exciting phase so when you say uh, new product development these are not changes that customers would see right it's not like um the the black uh, uh mirror would suddenly be different in a new vehicle compared mm. to the old vehicle right, right? no so no uh, a lot, lot of the lot of the changes have been under the hood yeah. which uh, which which customer will see we see from a reliability perspective will will which they will see from a slight uh, finesse in the in the performance uh, perspective um so some of these have also helped us to Im- uh, improve our uh, uh, production uh, itself and uh, the, the challenges which are there on production itself it will it will help you with things like uh, gaps in in the body panels it will a uh, um, lo- lot of these things are the ones which which have gone in uh, uh, which which are most of them are are under the hood uh, customer might not see it very uh, explicitly nice so um, you talked about this uh, thing that ather is not a company that just builds one product right um we we in fact recently just announced that we are expanding our hozur facility and this is coming at a point when i don't think we are even maxing out the current facility right um in fact i i we are, we are at like half of it or lower right um so at at how do you how do you make these calls at what point to expand and uh, say suddenly to uh, uh, next year if we decide to build a car um how 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 long does that road Flying map look like don't don't spill beans <laughs> <laughs> helicopters <laughs> right uh production is a uh, is is a long term investment so uh you 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 can't um like uh, like like there's a saying that like like aag lagne pe kua nahi khote that sort of a thing right like for for people who don't understand hindi is like you can't you can't like uh, b- uh, uh, like instantaneously you can't uh, uh, create production uh, capacity uh, you you cre- you create the capacity uh, you 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 and, and you roll it out as as things uh, uh, scale up you do it over a over a period of time and and and, and, and you you sort of uh, uh, pace yourself with with the market but you these are the things which are like a big investments which you have to do uh, beforehand so that you can you can respond to the market uh, uh, accordingly and we, and, and it, it's no uh, no news that uh, uh, the ev demands are just really shooting up right like and and it takes time to build up this sort of a capacity you want to be you you, you want to create a, a, a capacity of of 4 lakhs but you will start with like a 1 lakh right like and and then you will you'll slowly ramp up because you want to also see uh, stabilize your production facility itself you want to uh, see the the issues early uh, like ahead of ahead of time you don't want to uh, when you need 4 lakh vehicles you don't want to see issues you want you want the entire supply chain to be uh, supply chain production everything to be well oiled when you are actually hitting those uh, those numbers and uh, so anticipating the 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 future requirements which are which are going to come in and and how the industry is shaping up it is very important for us to do the investments uh, today um 
uh, what what we are seeing today is is actually like a uh, some sort of a, uh, anomaly or like ghost of our our past right and some of the decisions which we took at the time where the 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 numbers uh, or the market wasn't really as uh, as great are the ones which are sort of uh, 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 hitting us right now but it, i i see this as a as a as a short term problem and, and because of the short term problem you don't let go of the the long term uh, things vision. Yeah. yeah long term long term vision so so all these capacities are, are all of these are are long term uh, uh, requirements and and we will have we will keep on investing uh, on it because uh, yeah like maybe a, a quarter you will hit some 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 issues because of either some something you didn't anticipate or some bad decisions you took at some point of time but that doesn't mean the market is gone right like you 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 invest it you you invest it and uh, and 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 keep everything else ready and and as soon as the supply chain streamlines you start uh, like uh, printing out parts any anything else to close it off any message for uh, people who might be listening and i don't think you really answered the question when will they get their scooters now <laughs> <laughs> if if i book today when will i get the scooters right. <laughs> no i'm uh, I, I, all i can say right now is is, is uh, 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 we have a good visibility uh, uh, for like 2 to 3 months uh, down the line things will be really really great um we have some hiccups right now uh, though again like uh, i uh, it, it's not very unlike uh, unlike automotive industry the, who have like a two or three months of uh, lead time for products and, and that's the sort of lead time we are looking at uh, we have a we have a good reliable proven product uh, out there so i think that that two month uh, two month but I'm, when i say two month it's it's more predictable right like uh, so that, that kind of a, having a predictability on that that uh, two month without needing to follow up every day on twitter I think that is uh, that is something is uh, is I can I can definitely promise to the customer. Great. It was a it was a fun chat guys. Um yeah, any anything else? No, nothing from my side. All good? Yeah, no. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Back Thanks. to back to factory problems. <laughs> back to factory. Back to delving vehicles. <laughs> <laughs>